Hello friends, Sentinel H here, and welcome to episode 2 of our Tech Guns tutorial series. Uh, in the first episode, we take a look at all of the simple guns that you could craft without any uh, machines. Now, if we want to go much further into Tech Guns, we need to talk about the two machines that it... Well, it adds more than two machines, but the two simplest machines that it adds uh, that you're going to need because you'll start needing metal plates and you'll need to make the ammo for these guns using the ammo press. So we have the ammo and the metal presses. They look somewhat similar, uh, but they do very different things. And we're going to take a look at how to craft them. Uh, both of them require the electric engine, which is a uh, base component for quite a few things in the mod. And to make that, you're going to need copper wire. So we'll go from this uh, side and we'll work our way to the left rather than what we usually do. <laughs> so to make copper wire, you're going to need nuggets. You'll need five copper nuggets arranged just like so. Uh, like a sort of a, like a tetromino sort of a, I don't know what you'd call that, pentomino uh, sort of a shape like that. Kind of like a Tetris piece, but bigger. Uh, to make one copper wire. So it'll take five nuggets per each copper wire. You're going to need four of those to make the electric engine. The electric engine is crafted with four copper wire, two iron ingots, two redstone dust, and a mechanical parts, which we covered in the last uh, episode. Then, to craft yourself a metal press, simply place the electric engine in the middle and put either a block of iron or an iron plate from another mod. So for example, Immersive Engineering, which is what I did because I already had the Immersive Engineering metal press by the time that I made this. So if you have another way to make metal plates, it's much cheaper. Uh, otherwise, you'll need to do it this way first. Then once you can make metal plates with the metal press, you can use those to make more metal presses if you want. Anyway, you'll need that block of iron, an electric engine, a redstone dust, and six iron ingots to craft the metal press. What the heck, zombie? Where's tech guns? I need a gun. Screw you, zombie. Haha. -ha. Alright. Now that we solved that problem, the ammo press. You'll need the ammo press to make, um, well, ammo. The only ammos you can craft by hand that I found are those stone bullets, the 9mm bullets, and the shotgun shells. Uh, so you can't craft rifle rounds unless you have an ammo press. So the ammo press is crafted very similar to the metal press in that it takes an electric engine. However, this only takes one redstone dust, one lead ingot, four iron ingots, and two copper ingots. That gives you the ammo press. And those just so happen to be the same metals that you're going to need if you want to actually make the ammo. So right here I have a metal press and an ammo press and I've just buried some creative capacitors underneath them to give them power. So that's how they're running. That's where they get their power from. Uh, we'll start with the metal press because it's actually extremely simple. If I go into its GUI you've got a couple of things here. This is the power meter. It can store 20,000 RF. Got it. That, uh, those elephants are going to drive me crazy. You can, uh, it has an owner settings. So right now it's unlocked. It's, it's set to public, so anyone can access it. If I click on it, I can set it for friends, or I can set it to just me. Get out of here. Um, <laughs> there's also redstone. Uh, so right now, the, the press is ignoring redstone. However, we can say that it set it to require a high signal or a low signal. And you'll be able to tell because there's these two little uh, dots here. Uh, so if you're ever if you ever wondering, uh, when that turns red, it, it, it's telling you that it's not getting a redstone signal. The machine isn't going to work. See, it's not doing anything. Um, 
So you have to put a lever on it or a redstone signal. But when it's green, it means that it's getting a signal or that it doesn't need one and that it'll work. Okay? Then there's this thing, stack split. Now, stack split comes into play when you're feeding metal into this thing automatically. Uh, you have to put an ingot in each side. It, it takes two ingots and then it makes two metal plates. So you need one in each of these sides. Now, if you turn off stack split, and I go ahead and throw some uh, metal onto this conveyor belt because it does work. You see that each each machine has three ports where you can stick pipe or also conveyor belts. And I'm using conveyor belts because I freaking love conveyor belts. Um, they'll go right into the machine, but it doesn't do anything because both of the ingots have been placed right here on the left side. Instead, you want those to be placed um, on one on each side. So if we turn on stack split and I throw these in, and we go in here. There, it started doing it, right? It's that, and it's it's very loud, and it's got this cool animation to it. It made the two copper plates because we had stack split on. It 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 distributed them to each slot. Okay, so if you're gonna if you're gonna auto feed the metal through just one side, you need to do that. However, if we take this and we turn off stack split, let's see if this works. Yep, oh, come on. We're just going to throw one in there, went into the left, throw one in there, it still went into the left. So if you're going to do that, you're going to need stack split. It's, or it's always going to place them on the left side. All right. Now we have the ammo press. The ammo press does a similar thing, but it uses different materials. The way that this works, it's got all the same things on the left side, is that you can tell it what you want to make. You can help tell it to make 9mm bullets, shotgun shells, rifle bullets, or high caliber rounds. And you can also click on the recipes list and you can see all of the recipes. You can use multiple different metals. You can use tin, you can use uh, steel, you can use lead, uh, you can use iron, copper. It's You can use a lot of different metals in here. Uh, and as you can see, if you make shotgun shells, you do get 16. You make 9mm bullets, you do get 12. You will get 8 rifle bullets for that recipe and you will get 4 high caliber rounds for that recipe. And you can see that these recipes, they're all the same. You, it, it, it always needs a gunpowder, either bronze, copper, tin, or iron, and either lead or steel. Okay? It's just whichever one you have it set to, that's the one you're going to get. So let's make some 9mm bullets. And just to show you the difference, if we go to 9mm bullets and we look up the recipe that... If you're crafting it in your hand, you'll get 16 of these for a lead ingot, a gunpowder, and some copper nuggets. In the machine, uh, you'll get 12 for two ingots, a gunpowder, and a lead ingot. Okay? Is it actually less? I think this needs rebalancing. These probably need turning down to make it actually worth it uh, for 9mm bullets. But let's make some rifle bullets, because it's the only thing to do. So we'll throw two copper in there, or whatever metal you happen to have the most of. Well, one gunpowder and one lead. And you get this cool little animation where it like presses the casings and then uh, stamps them. And there you go, rifle bullets. And we can go back to 9 mil. So basically, you know, we can just shove a bunch of stuff in here. Control it with redstone, select what we want to make. There we go. And it'll keep crafting until it fills up. I think it's quite, it's quite cool. And of course, once it fills up, it'll stop. But let's just make it stop because it's, it's really loud. So we take everything out. It doesn't use up the items until it's finished crafting. So that's nice. And then we go. We got some bullets. So you can really mass produce these bullets. It doesn't take very long to craft each one. So you can craft a lot of bullets using the ammo press. And if you automate it, with redstone and some sort of and like like the way I could see doing this is you could use uh, like an, if you stored your bullets in a specific like location like a chest or something and you had you had your base set up so that uh, your system knew how many of those you had like if you had an AE system and you used some sort of level meter to uh, to turn this on when you ran low on that type of bullet and it could auto craft you that bullet and then once it got to uh, above, above a threshold it would just quit 
then you could have four of these uh, so that each producing the different bullet that it can craft, 9mm shotgun rifle and high caliber, and you could have them just constantly churning out bullets only when you uh, run low on those. So that would be quite cool. So they're very automatable, they're very controllable with the redstone, uh, different settings, uh, and very nice. And you're going to need these, as I said, especially the metal press, to advance in tech guns. So get the metal press as soon as you can, and also the ammo press, because you can't press rifle bullets uh, by hand so that you can upgrade yourself to the next level of guns. In the next episode, we're going to take a look at the lower, at the, at the uh, sort of, I guess you could call them tier one weapons, I'd call them. They're above, well, technically tier two. They're above the simple guns. They're, they tend to do more damage than the simple guns, but they don't require advanced materials. They just require you to have the metal press to make those metal plates. And there, we're gonna make the rifle for the rifle bullets and stuff like that next episode. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I hope you're enjoying tech guns, uh, and yes, we will get the nuclear death ray one of these days. And uh, and stay tuned for future episodes. Join us on our Discord server. It's it's really a, a lot of fun, and uh, we've been doing a lot of talk talking about the future of the channel. Uh, let me know in the comments, by the way. Let me know in the comments um, what you want to see as far as Minecraft. Do you want to keep seeing Revolution Three? Do you want us to play a different mod pack uh, on a server? Like maybe Resonant, Resonant Rise. I know that's a popular one. Um, let let us know what 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 you uh, would like to would like to see. Uh, follow me on Twitter if you want to get uh, Twitter notifications for when videos go up and uh, all that good jazz. So there's some new stuff coming down the pipe. I'll make an announcement video about it as soon as I find the time. Christmas season has been crazy. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I'm Setnlh and I'm signing out.